Ever since the reaction role feature was introduced to Discord via bots, it's become a really popular feature on Discord to the point where it's almost a necessity to have reaction roles inside your server. In this video, I want to show you guys how to set up some super clean and professional looking reaction roles. I'm also going to show you what bot I recommend to use for reaction roles. Before we get too far into the video, I do want to tell you guys about our channel sponsor, NordVPN. If you're looking for a reliable and fast way to browse the internet safely and with peace of mind, then head over to their website using my referral link down in the description and enter code gesture at checkout to get a pretty awesome discount on any of their VPN plans that they offer. Also, if you guys do enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And if you're into gaming content, definitely check out my Twitch. I'll have that link down in the description below. So let's dive into these reaction roles. The bot that we're going to be using to set up all of these reaction roles is going to be Dinobot. The reason I picked Dinobot is because one, you get the most reaction roles for free. Um, a lot of bots like me six only limit you to two reaction roles per unless you have premium and among a lot of the other bots that do offer free reaction roles Dinobot's more the more professional looking one with a really clean looking ui once you head over to Dinobot, come down here to whichever server you're going to be using for me i'm going to be using the test my test server and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on modules and you're going to find reaction roles for me it's up here at the top and just click settings you guys will see i already have a test role set up here what it looks like over in my server is just like this what's cool about this bot is that you can actually if you don't want the message the reaction role message to be sent from a bot account itself you can actually choose it to be in, from an existing message so like this this is a message from me but if you click on it it gives me all of their like it's fully set up with reaction roles so it's really cool that if you don't want a bot like the message to come from the bot you can make the message come from your own account now back over to the bots website you're going to give a name for your uh, reaction role message for this we can just do test roles up next you get to choose what channel you want the message to be in and also what type of message you want it to be I'm going to use general channel for mine and you can select it to be either a plain message you can select it to be an embedded message which if you don't know what embedded message is it's going to look something like this it's going to come from the bot and it's going to have this blue line and it's going to look a little bit different than a normal message would inside discord and then you also have existing message, which is why I just showed you guys. If you want the message to come from you in your own account, you can use existing message to do that. While embedded message isn't complicated, it is a little bit more effort to set up than something like an existing message, because obviously an existing message, you just go type it out yourself and then you just grab the message link and paste that in here and you're all done. What I'm gonna do here is show you guys how to set up the embedded message. If you do want to go the existing or plain message route, I'll have timestamps on the video so you can skip past this embedded message to get down here to the reaction settings. So basically what we're gonna do here is set up all the information for the embedded message. You can choose a color. I always like to use a light blue. My kind of branding theme is like a aqua tealish color. So we're going to use the light blue there you can give it a title test if you want the title to hyperlink to a website or something you can enter in that url here and then we're also going to type a description you'll be able to see down here at the bottom you're going to get a live update of everything that you're typing what i like to do for the description is basically lay out a all the emojis that you can react with so in this case i have a bunch of color rolls set up so we'll do a red circle and then we'll use a arrow emoji and then we're going to do at red and we're going to see if this gets it to ping the roll so it adds more color to the message i'm not sure if it can um, we're going to test that out here at the end so what i'm going to do is go through and type out all of my roles that i'm going to have in this reaction message and i'm going to make them look super clean and professional just like this um, you guys go ahead and do that yourself and then we'll pick up once i have all these typed in all right, so now that we've got all those typed in, you can see down here what it's going to look like when it's posted into your server. Uh, there's a few other messages you can come in here and mess with if you want there to be an author, like if you wanna put your own name or something. Um, and any other, you can add a thumbnail to the message, a footer to the message at the bottom. Lots of different ways you can customize it. I'm not gonna do any of that, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. After that, you're going to save the embed. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna add the emojis that people are gonna be able to react with and what color, what role they're gonna be able to get with that emoji. So you're gonna click add reaction. And then what I'm gonna do is set all these up with these exact emojis that I used up here. So if you guys have roles that you can use emojis for, definitely use those up here to make it look nice and professional. That way people know exactly 
what to react with to get what role. So all you're gonna do is click on the plus by reaction, add in the emoji, and then you're gonna select what role that emoji, reacting with that emoji is gonna give them. In this case, it's gonna get reacting with the red emoji, is gonna give them the red role. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, in this case, the blue emoji is gonna give them the blue role, so on and so forth. You guys get the point. So now that we've got all the reaction emojis alongside the corresponding roles that they'll get by reacting with that emoji, you have a few more uh, special options you can use down here, such as uh, allowing members to get multiple roles, keeping the reaction counter at one instead of adding a number to it every time. So feel free to check those out if that's something you guys wanna do. For me, I don't wanna set any of those up. So all I'm going to do is click save. As soon as you click save, if you set everything up right, you should get the success message. And now if we head back over to our server, you're going to notice that if you did an existing message, it should look like this. It should have added reactions to the message that you already sent. Or if you use the bot embedded message, then it's going to look something like this. Now, unfortunately, even though on the bots end on the website, it looks like it's actually adding the at mentioning the role and it's going to show a little more color. It doesn't look like it went through and did that in the actual embedded message. So if you guys want to add a little more color and flair, I definitely recommend something like this. I definitely recommend doing an existing message. That way you can get a little more color and pizzazz in there. You know what I mean? And then if you want to test it out, you can react to the message and you should get the red roll as you notice I just did. And then if a user wants to get rid of that roll, all they have to do is react to it again and it'll take the roll away from them. So really not too complicated to get some reaction roll set up inside your Discord server. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please consider dropping a like to help share the video with other people, as well as dropping a subscribe on the channel if you want to keep up to date with all the other Discord content that I do. If you guys have any questions or concerns about anything, definitely drop them in the comments below or you can consider joining my discord via the link in the description or in the pinned comment i hope you guys have a great rest of the day thank you for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one peace